Hey everybody, this is Kay from Kay Design, and this is screencast number two. And today's topic I want to talk about is saving for the file format PNG 8. Uh, basically, two or three weeks ago, I did a tutorial on saving out PNG 24 for modern browsers and how to use JavaScript to display it correctly on IE6. But today, we want to go over why and when to use PNG 8. Um, let me just open up a browser here to show you um, what I mean here. Uh, before I do that, let's um, set up our images here. Let's save out our images. I already have a version of a uh, ping 24 which I want to save out as a ping, 20, uh, ping 8. Let's go ahead and open up this image here. As you can see I have an Apple logo uh, saved as a ping 24. Let's save this out as a ping 8 and see what happens. Um, ping 8, let's check transparency and let's just give it a diffusion transparency. Hit save. Let's name this Apple 8. And go ahead and close this out. And um, I already have the HTML set up here. Um, let me just go over this real quick. Um, basically, I have the style sheet linked, uh, a div ID container with the two images, um, ping 8 and ping 24 side by side, so you can see the comparison. Um, style sheet is just very simple, you know, basic zero auto to center it and gave it a width and floated both images to the left so it can stick side by side. And let's go ahead and load up our page here. Okay, um, I don't know if you could see it that clearly on the screencast, but if you notice, the one on the left which is the PNG 8, has a little bit of slight jaggedness. Um, in other words, uh, it, it doesn't look as anti-layest uh, as the one on the right, or not as smooth, if you will. If I zoom in here, you probably can see it a little bit better. You can see these jagged edges here, um, which is the PNG 8. Why is that? Um, that's because PNG 8, um, saving it out of Photoshop is basically functioning just like a, a GIF file format where it's either transparent, it, 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 it's either, either the pixel is transparent or it's not. It does not have, you know, semi-transparent effect, which is where the alpha transparency comes into play. Uh, where as ping 24 on the right side does support that. Um, so how do we get around that? How, how do we save it out as a ping 8 but also uh, retain the alpha transparency? Uh, well, uh, simply put it, uh, Photoshop does not support that. Not that I know of at least. Um, two weeks back, um, I stumbled upon a designer. Uh, I was reading his web blog and, and found out a uh, program where you can save uh, Ping 8 and with transparency, alpha transparency intact. Um, I apologize if I can't remember the designer's name, but credit goes to him. Um, here, I just want to show you guys how to do that. Um, that program that uh, he used was uh, Firefox or Fireworks. Um, basically, uh, you open up the ping 24 file, and on your right side, under the Optimize tab, you have a selection of, uh, of um, what ping you want to save it as. So, just select ping 8. Under here, you can choose alpha transparency, whereas Photoshop only uh, saved it as either index or no no transparency. But in Fireworks, um, there is a selection for you to select 
alpha transparency. Okay, after you do that, um, you do not save this as uh, save as, but use export. So go go to file, export, and then give it a name. Hit save. And then now let's reload our page to see if that made any difference. As you can see now, both of these icons are almost identical. If I zoom out here, you cannot see the jagged edges on the left on the Ping and G8 anymore. They're almost identical. But if you look to their file size, you can see a big significant difference between Ping 24 and Ping 8. It's almost a third of, of the file size of the Ping 24. So you can imagine if you have, you know, five or ten or so Ping 24s on your pages, that's pretty taxing on your on your server load and resources. And and visitors probably have to wait before your whole page gets rendered. So that's not good. Um, see, this would be a good situation where. Uh, ping 20 or uh, ping 8 would uh, come into play uh, to save out the, of the uh, you know for a better optimized file size um, and ping 8 is natively working in IE6 however there is a catch um, in IE6 it simply just does not look good. It just the way it renders it, uh, image, a PNG8 image is just a little bit jaggedy when it comes to alpha transparency, uh, which you can see here. Uh, although it, you know it, it still degrades, you know fairly nicely, but you can definitely see the jagged edges here. And, and obviously you see this gray little background here because IE6 does not support ping 24. But if I was to choose, um, I would definitely choose ping 8 um, for the modern guys with the modern browsers because it's just, you know, it reduces dramatically the file size of, of these images. And, and for the, for the um, uh, least common uh, people with um, IE6 will see this image where it's a little bit jagged but um, if you weigh in the you know the, the pros and cons I would still pick a ping 8 because of this reason um, that's all for today's um, screencast um, I just want to keep it fairly short but informative at the same time um, until next week uh, goodbye